Hi, I'm K.M. Johnson Davis, the executive director and founder of K.M. Davis Ministries in Frisco, Texas. I am excited to continue with day 11 of our 90-day daily devotional. So today's scripture is Matthew 14, and it's verse 31. It says, and immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore did thou doubt? This is a familiar passage. A lot of us hear about Peter when he stepped off the boat. We even use this a lot of times when we're trying to express, you know, stepping out on faith and really trusting and believing God and moving forward to the things that God has given us to do or that God has spoken to us. And so I find that this is a really great place to start when, um, really just kind of seeing where your faith stands at the moment. So in this particular passage, Peter is on the boat with the rest of the disciples and Jesus is out in the water and he calls to Peter. He calls to Peter to step out, out of the boat and come toward him. He says, come. And Peter begins to come to him. But then when he starts to see that the waves and the water is, is this trouble, the wind starts to blow, it says in, in the scripture, that the wind starts to blow and he is afraid. How many times do we find ourselves afraid when things begin to blow in our lives, when things start to happen in our lives? How many times have you found yourself confident in the next thing that you're about to set out to do, confident? in the course of action that you've chosen to take and the decision that you just made. And then something happens and you start to have a little bit of doubt, like, uh, well, maybe this wasn't what I was supposed to do. That's what I think happened to Peter here. Peter starts to go in the direction that the Lord is calling him to. But then when something he wasn't expecting happens, he gets a little afraid. And he starts to question his decision. He starts to question the situation. He starts to question whether or not this is really what he was supposed to be doing. And we do that so much. When he does that, he begins to sink into the water. He begins to lose his footing, so to speak. You know, he the, 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 the solid path that he was initially on is no longer solid. Now it's shaky and he's sinking and it really is whatever he was afraid would happen is actually happening. Oh my goodness. That speaks so many wonders right there. When we start to think about the things that could happen and we begin to doubt the things that we're supposed to be working toward or walking toward, then everything that we filled our mind with is starts to become a reality. That's what happened here. The fear that Peter had in his heart from the winds that were blowing, from the, from the troubling that was happening around him, those are the things that began to manifest in his life. And so I just want to encourage you not to allow those things to manifest. Finally, Jesus stretched out his hand and said, when did you start to doubt? You have little faith. When did you start to doubt me? Jesus had called to him. That means that when Jesus calls us for it, when Jesus gives us something to do and the Lord places something on your heart to do, he's called you to it. And so when he's called you to it, the path is now straight. He's already gone before you and made the path perfect. And so all you have to do is trust him. And when you trust him, no matter what happens around you, no matter the troubling of the sea, no matter the wind blowing, no matter what it might seem like to your natural eyes, the Lord will have you taken care of. You'll, you'll be good. You'll be able to walk on water. <laughs> and that's what he intended for Peter in that moment. But Peter, again, he began to doubt. And that's when the things that he thought would happen did happen. So I hope this has helped you a little bit to think about your, your, your current situation and think about how maybe you are bringing things into your life because of the way that you're thinking of them. Instead of trusting and believing what the Lord has already spoken to you, what he said to you, having confidence in his word to you, you start to think about what if and all the things that could happen, all the wrong things, right? So instead of thinking about those things, I think we had a scripture earlier before about thinking on these things. Trust in the word that the Lord has given you. Think on that thing. 
Think on the come. Think on Lord, the Lord calling you to whatever that situation is that he's asked you to, to do. Whatever he's told you to do, concentrate on that. Don't focus on the things that might be going on around you. All right, my time is definitely up. So I just want to pray for you really fast and then we'll go ahead and leave. So Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I'm just praying for the person on the other end of my voice, Lord. I ask that you touch them at the very point, meet them at the very point of their need, touch them wherever they need healing, whatever areas that they may be searching and seeking after you for. And Lord, help them to have more faith than doubt. Lord, help them to trust you when you call them forward, to be able to step out of that boat and not look down and not look around, not look at the circumstances or the situations happening around them, but to stay truly focused on you and your word. Lord, we thank you and we praise you for yet another day in your presence. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey guys, I hope that this has really inspired you and that you are going to go forth with this. So I look forward to seeing you for the rest of this time that we're doing this. Thank you for joining me and be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. All right. Thank you. Love you all. See you next time.